Just have to tell her it's fine. I seen Kevin Wakes were well ranked and the number two, wasn't he? First time we brought him. Yeah. So he steps up to fight anybody. He's the fellow that's been invited by the likes of um, Anthony Joshua. Didn't want to fight him. But as I say, Joe's a, a true warrior. So this is a tough fight for him. It's a tough fight. He knows that. He's got to change his style for the next fight in a big way. But he's capable of doing that. And I think it's going to be a cracking fight for him. Mm. Obviously, that was your first pro defeat. That was the first fight with Zhang. What do you think you've learned from that? you can take into this rematch? Like, the stuff that I need to correct in camp and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've, t I've taken losses in amateurs though, but it is, um, as a professional, it's different. It, um, it's a different feeling. There's a lot more on the line and, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a pitfall. So, um, it's about getting back and rebuilding and um, overcoming an obstacle, a, a challenge in uh, Zhang. And uh, yeah, it's it's tough. It's quite tough. Like when you win, you're like it's a good feeling. Everyone's behind you and stuff. But when you lose, and you know it kind of drops a bit, and you know it's it's quite hard to it's a tough pill to swallow. And like you know, I feel the, the disappointment and stuff from people. And uh, yeah, it just I I, I prefer to win. <laughs> Not a nice feeling, that yeah. losing feeling, I'm sure yeah. it's not. Uh, but you mentioned about your camp and how you want to approach that differently. Well, you're not prepared in the right way. No, nah, just, just small things that um, just need to be... Um, like, it's just like small little improvements here and there and um, like the game plan and tactics and um, also myself, like my, my physical body, I need to like be stronger and a bit more... Uh, a bit more head movement and maybe footwork and defense. I just yeah, just small, like bits. But I think um, I think in the fight, like watching it back, and especially with the uh, there's some AI uh, scoring system thing that I watched. It was quite interesting to see how many punches I threw and landed and stuff. And um, it you know it kind of made me feel a little bit more confident when it turned back in. So. Um, but I thought I, if I'd have gotten to the later rounds, I could have uh, taken him anyway. It was only kind of the eye that, um, that you know, just, well, it was kind of full stop. I didn't, um, you know, the eye was, was swollen, so the referee looked at it. I could still see his fingers, but like, he pulled it there. And it's probably, I was probably saved from myself, because well, I wanted to carry on. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll talk more. Uh, about it in just a moment. We're going to just go to Lord because there has been a wicket, so we just need a um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like the fight film as a rematch. Um, I was surprised in the first fight. Um, I, mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't like the build-up to the first fight, Joe. Joe. I didn't like the narrative that you seem to be playing down the route that your granite chin will get you out of everything. I, I, didn't, I didn't like it either, no, either to be honest. No, no, because it was the narrative that was being peddled out about how hard you could be hit. And eventually, if you keep yeah. on getting hit that hard, it's going to even you. And, I, and I've seen you get hit hard. I know what you can take. I was surprised at the size of you when you came into that particular fight because I'm always used to watching you come in and being the 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 Goliath in the ring. Now obviously he's a big fella, but you look much lighter in that fight, and I, I kind of didn't understand the thinking behind that. Mm. It wasn't it wasn't planned or anything at all. It's just I was eat, I was eating as normal and training as uh, normal. You were lighter though, weren't you? Yeah, I, I was just a thin and. Um, but normally it's like I needed to be lighter. Like I was too heavy for Parker. Because like the you know my optimal weight was actually lower than that, so I came in heavy. So um, if I'd won the fight, would we be talking about my weight? Like I, no, you'd be talking about a lot of different things, but that's irrelevant, isn't it? Because you, you didn't. And so my concern, my, my my patronage is yeah. with you. I want you to be successful. I like you as a fella. Obviously, I like Frank. I like Adam morally. I want to see you be getting all the rewards that you deserve from boxing. I just worry about you going back into this fight. Maybe it's not my business to worry, but I'm being asked an opinion. And, and I would have preferred you to have gone away, rebuilt somewhere else, let someone else take care of Zhang, and you get the you get the left of him at a later stage if you felt the need to do it. Now I know that the the reality of getting back your WBO mandatory position was key a key component of this. I'm just very curious to see, and I know you're not going to give me a game plan, what you do differently in this fight because everything about the fight to me looked wrong. You looked so much slower than him. I was surprised at how he, how quickly he looked than you. I know you're easy to hit, and I don't like that for you, but that's part of your style. And you didn't seem to have any effectivity with what you hit him with. 
So it worries me. I know it sounds bleeding negative, man. You don't need that, but I've got to be blunt. Tell me about it. I'm the one who has to get back in the ring with him. Exactly. But it was just, exactly. You know, remember, he, he hadn't been <laughs> south for, for a long, long time. So, um, and, I, and the early, uh, very early on in the fight, he was getting caught with a shell of those shots. And the eye injury happened very early mm. in the fight. It was swelling. And you, if you can't see out your eye, then you, you basically, you, you know, all your judgment, everything's just getting thrown at you. So he suffered from that. And at the end of the day, the doctors stopped the fight, and he didn't stop it. He wasn't maybe knocked out or anything. He got stuck to the eye injury. And it, he's got obviously got to change his tactics. He knows that better than anybody. But if he can't change his tactics, it's all over. If he can change them, which I believe he can, then he then he, then he's back in the driving seat, and that's entirely up to him and the, and the, and the training team to make sure that that happens. Um, I, I'd take the hell to him going straight back in. You know, oh, absolutely. You know, he's going straight back in there. Well, it's another. You know, it's another, what, uh, just under three months before the fight takes place. So it'll be quite an intensive training camp to get preparation for him. But Lang's a, Lang's a big, tough, tough guy. He's a big, he's, he's, he's a big fast, guy. faster than people so think he is, exactly. And, uh, you know, what you've got to take, again, just using the phrase, take your hat off. You've got to take your hat off to Joe. He's number two, he was the number two rated to Joe. He took the fight. No messing about, no ducking. Yeah, he's the number two. That's who I'm going to fight. And went straight for the fight. Whereas you look at when he was in the same camp or the same promotional outfit, Zhang as, as um, Joshua, they wouldn't go near him. Mm. Were you surprised by him, Joe? Were you surprised by what you encountered when you got in the ring? Because you were very confident when you yeah. went up to him. And so you should, because if you don't believe in somebody's going to believe in you. But were you surprised with what you encountered? Yeah, I was, I was surprised how quick he was. Yeah. Like, and it was like, it, like the first round, it felt like. Uh, time was slowed slowed down because I was like, well, if I don't initiate an attack, we're just going to be looking at each other for the whole first round. But it, it didn't look like that watching it back. But that's how it felt, yeah. and um, he was just waiting for me to throw throw shots and then just picking me off with the counters very fast, uh, straight lefts, straight down the pipe, hit me in my eye, and then started closing it up, and it uh, you know started losing a bit of vision and stuff. But like he was so fast, so accurate, and just patient to just. Wait for me to initiate, like to come in, and he would just wallop me with the counters. Well, because I went to the Dubois fight, and and saw you in that fight, and I went to um, uh, this fight as well, obviously, and I seen you, in a, and I went to the Parker fight, and yeah. you were outstanding against Parker, mm -hmm. and of course a lot of momentum built behind you. So that was my. I want you to understand. I'm not trying to get under your skin and be clever with you. I'm trying to give an honest answer to my concerns for you because I want you to be successful. <laughs> Because there's a lot of people who doesn't like. <laughs> so we all worry about the board. This could be the start. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, what's great though is. I love the honesty from you already. That's what we're getting from this conversation. We're going to carry it on after the break. But just to reiterate, then the rematch is on September the 23rd at Wembley. It is Joyce against Zhang. It is one to look forward to certainly. This is Talk Sport. Watching it back, there was. A, a opportunity if, for me to to win the fight, but it just the eye kind of like stopped it, so get um stopped it going to the second half of the fight. So maybe that might have, might make the difference. But I know Zang's team are like still training hard, and he's going to be way more comfortable and knows exactly what to do. He's um all, like used to being in there with orthodox fighters. Well, I'm, this is my first southpaw for for a while, and um, yeah, so it, it's. It's a whole different war game because it's, 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 a, it's a completely different tactic to face on South War against Orthodox. Because South War is a different type of South War, so he's a, a counter South War and he, he's a bigger, big old unit. When you win, where do you, sit, where do you hope it takes you, Joe? Where's the opportunity for you next? You've got all this stuff in Dubai and in Saudi and what's going on, and you've spoken about all the other four guys. And I'm not sure if you manage to get a fight on the deal in mind and actually do something. Yeah. Where do you hope it leads you? What's in your mind's eye? In fact, we'll be guiding you and there'll be directions of travel that Adam wants to see you go on. But what's your hope? Because you've got these four guys potentially fighting. It may happen, may not happen. I'm not sure it will happen. Frank's shaking his head and I probably concur with him. <laughs> um, but where do you think next? If, once you've done this guy, you've, you've avenged it, you've got it back, you've corrected a few things, you've learned a few lessons. What do you hope to happen next? Well, that'll be right in line for the, when the mandatory get called. Right. Now, mandatory will be WA, right. IBF, and then WO in that order. So it wouldn't change anything if I get to, um, get to beat Zang, get the title back, 
and then be in mind for my mandatory well, there we go. Yeah. So Usyk would have to go your boy Daniel. Yeah, if he doesn't lose that, if he wins that, Rogovic. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Right. So so how does that matter? So, so well, if it goes to plan, you might wind up with a little uh, old British showdown. Showdown? Nice. Don't get no better than that in Scotland. You know, that's the thing with the blood match, the rematch, whatever you want. Right. right. Okay. You have a rematch clause there, though, for Usyk and Chris to Guardian. No. No very much was Okay. Very good. Very good, Frank. Let me just ask you what we think. Gore interrupts it. Let's head back to the moment.